Hey YouTube, welcome to TCT and the crazy troll nation of YouTube. The crazy because I wait till I start a video and put on chapstick. I am in a troll because I just am and I am in full troll mode today and I was just crying which is why my nose is red and I'll probably cry during this video. I am just like a ball of emotions right now and I'm just... <clears throat> so here's the situation. My mom's in a nursing home. Um, she has dementia. She's been in there almost two, uh, a little over two years. And <clears throat> I found out some information today that really upset me. And this video was really just to, to tell you guys, well, no, because I'm not going to tell you what to do. You're, you're grown. I'm, this video is to suggest that if you have loved ones in a nursing home or long-term care facilities or even short-term care facilities, to call and talk to someone who can actually give you honest information about what's going on. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to link two websites below. She's in a nursing home in New Jersey. I live in Delaware. Um, <clears throat> they shut the nursing home down to visitors back in March. And I think it was early April. I received a phone call that there was one positive case of COVID um, in the building. The only ones who can be bringing it in or out are the staff because the patients don't go anywhere. Um, or it could be like the food delivery, you know, personnel or whatever. But, um, <clears throat> and I did receive a letter dated April 9th um, that they did have the one case. But I just got this letter last week. Today is April 21st. And so even getting the letter is like two weeks after the fact. I'm going to link two websites below. One is the, um, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm not going to edit any of this out. I'm just, <sighs> I'm just really upset. The first article says that there is an issue with um, facilities not notifying staff <laughs> and or family members when there's um, an active COVID case within the facility and that they're requiring facilities to do that. And if they're not, they're going to list what facilities have cases if it's over, if, even if it's one case reported from the facility, they're going to put it in a chart to let us know. Okay, but remember, the facilities are supposed to be notifying the families, just like when they called me when they had that one case before. And they also had called me like a week ago to let me know they were switching my mom's room. And I was kind of like, why are they switching her room? She only had one roommate. So I'm like, okay, is, is one of them sick? And the person I spoke to, the unit manager, she was not helpful. And she's just beating around the bush and not giving me clear cut answers to clear cut, straightforward questions and splitting hairs on things that I was saying. And it was just really annoying. And I spoke to her again today and we, we got into a really, really nice pissing contest. And I won. I'm upset as hell still. Look at my nose. It's like so freaking red and it looks bigger than it normally does. Um, and so she answered a few questions. Cause I told her, I said, this is the article that I'm reading that was posted yesterday. No, today is April 22nd. The article was posted April 21st yesterday. And I am going to upload this today so that the information I'm giving you is still current. <clears throat> And the second article that I found, um, the second paragraph, and I'll write this down below. The second paragraph, the last sentence says, here's a breakdown of the facilities and the numbers, yada, 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 whatever it said. And it said here in blue. So when you click on that, it opens up into a PDF spreadsheet and it lists every nursing home, um, the location, how many positive cases and how many died. And for the nursing home, For the nursing home my mom is in, there were five cases and two of them died. And so I called and I'm speaking to the unit manager and she's like, well, it doesn't say that they died in the facility. I'm like, look, you're splitting hairs. I mean, I really like my hood just really came out. I grew up in the inner city and I was really just trying not to be that angry black woman. And I said, so are you telling me this information is correct? And she's like, well, it's not incorrect and i said but you're still telling me there's zero cases right now in the nursing home so where where are these five cases and, and what happened to the two that died and she says well they didn't die here and i'm like so you're some and i just was just like stop splitting hairs i'm asking you a straightforward question give me a straightforward answer and so then she said one of the two that died one was sent to the hospital and they died at the hospital one 
died in the nursing home before they were sent to the hospital. The other three that tested positive were sent out to the hospital. So as of right now, there are zero positive cases or confirmed, I'll say, positive cases of COVID within the nursing home. And so I asked her, well, where's the other three? And then she said, oh, can you hold on? So she put um, the infectious control nurse on the phone, who was very lovely, very sweet, very helpful. And I did thank her probably at least like three or four times for being so honest and straightforward and answering my questions. Um, the other three were sent to the hospital. And I said, were any of those five on the floor that my mom was on? Not that it really matters because staff are going from floor to floor and it's staff that are passing it because the patients, as I said, don't go outside. The patients are in the facility. <laughs> it's the staff who comes in and out. But she did say yes. And some of the um, five were on the, the same floor that my mother is on. Um, so I asked her, what do I need to do to get this information? Because they called when they had the first case. They called when they changed my mom's room. Why are they not calling with the other four cases? And, you know, she went into how, oh, you know, it's a lot of families to call and the staff and blah, 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 blah. So I'm like, you know what? Okay, so I said, it sounds like I would need to call you once or twice a week to get information from you. And she said that would be fine. She was she was really lovely. She was really sweet. Um, and she did try to console me. She's like, we're taking good care of your mom and she's going to be okay. I said, you can't guarantee that. I said, my mom, just like every other patient at the nursing home, is in a confined environment. If there's a case there, she's been exposed, well, most likely have been exposed or likely will be exposed. I said, so I appreciate you saying that, but you can't guarantee that. So she really did try, and she was really sweet. And I told her, you know, I apologize for coming off like a bitch. And yes, I did say that <laughs> through the phone because I was just so angry after talking to the unit manager. Um, but it was really refreshing um, to get answers and to not have someone try to bullshit me or split hairs on where they died or where they went or telling me that there's none there. Well, there were five there, where did they go? And it says two died, where did they go? Um, so anyway, so again, this is just to, to suggest if you have um, family in, in long-term facilities or short-term facilities, um, to just call and speak to the infectious control nurse or someone in disease control at the facility because I don't know if they're not telling the staff, if they're not telling the nurses, or, I mean, I don't know. Because when I called earlier and I asked, they were like, oh, no, there's no cases. But then I'm finding this information online that there were five and two died. And so, then they are supposed to inform us, but obviously and apparently they're not. So just call and speak to someone in um, disease control at the facility, or if they have an infectious control nurse, talk to that person. Um, and also look at those articles below and just Google and just find what you can find. Even if um, your loved one is not in a nursing home in New Jersey, I'm sure there's links to other facilities and other places where you can find charts on what the numbers are or were and how many um, are um, still living. And so thank you for bearing with me through this video. Um, Probably gonna cry after I turn the video off again because I'm just I'm just like so emotional right now because I I'm not gonna keep babbling but the links will be below and for those for those of you who have family members or friends that are in correctional institutions you know my heart goes out to you too because there's no contact like I I. You know, I don't even call to talk to my mom because of her dementia. She's not coherent. And so it's not even really a conversation. I mean, I still could call and just hear her voice, uh, which I can do. But, um, like, if I asked her if she's okay, she's not going to be able to tell me if she really is or not. And so, yeah, that's sad, too. It's it's sad. Um, so, yeah, my heart goes out to any of you who have family in facilities, whether it's medical or correctional, because they're, they're a captive audience. They have nowhere to go. 
And if one person gets it, you know, everyone in there is potentially exposed. And it's the staff who are bringing it in. And it's not their fault. Like, they go to work, they have to, they're essential, and then they go home, and then wherever else. And the masks that they have are not the N, I think, was it N45, N95, whatever those masks are. Those aren't the ones that they have at the nursing home. And so they don't even have the proper, you know, equipment to protect themselves. And so... It's it's just a mess. It's a mess. And it's April. And uh, I'm thinking this is going to go on until like almost till the end of the year. And I'm getting a headache. I usually get a headache when I cry. But um, yeah, so read the links below. Um, my heart goes out to you guys. If you have family members who are not well, my heart, my heart goes out to you too because this is really a helpless feeling. You can't do anything. You can't you can't do anything. And her being there. <sighs> Thanks guys for watching. Leave comments below if you want to like this video. If you like the content, share this video with those you know who may need to hear this, or at least you know share the links that are below so people can at least look up information if they feel like the um, facilities are not being honest with the information or not being forthcoming with the information. And, you know, even though we're away from our loved ones, we have to do what we can to be informed, you know, and so that we're not blindsided. Um, this one lady, her mom died and she didn't find out till like 10 days later. And this is in the first link I'm going to send you that she didn't need, she'll never know, like, was it from COVID symptoms or not, because she didn't even find out right away. Um, you know, it's just a mess. It's just a mess, and my nose is so red. It matches my shirt. I'm being silly. I'm just trying to <sighs> calm myself down. Thank you for watching. I'm really going to go this time. Bye.